guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to a walkthrough of the Ocean View Estate Quest in Sims Free Play. This quest is available from level 9 and as you can see there's a 2 day time limit on this and it will unlock the premium large residence and the real estate career and if you do it within the 2 day time limit you will get a prize of a beachside escape house. This is a main quest within the game and as soon as it is available to you to complete you will get this pop up. You have to be level 9, you have to have completed the previous quests within the game and then you will get this pop up when you can do it. If you haven't seen any of the videos within this series as well as walking through all the quests we are also doing a kind of a very story driven let's play and I want you guys to comment down below any sims that you want to add into this game. These sims are all viewer suggested and their relationships are all viewer suggested as well so pick a sim as we're going through. Any sims are already in the game if you want to create a husband or a wife for them or let me know all of that down below in the comments. But we should get started with this quest. So we have this pop up, new quest available. A new premium housing development with stunning ocean views is opening up in Simtown, boasting extra large properties with a stunning view of the bay. This is the perfect place for your growing families. So the first thing that we need to do is read House, Garden and Llamas magazine. A new housing development with ocean views is opening in Simtown. With extra large property sizes? Great! Imagine all the things you could do with all that extra room. Look for some big house ideas in House, Garden and Llamas magazine. So you can find the magazines in the living room section. You should already have placed the magazines because we've needed some for a previous quest. This is our little family, the Walker family, where we just had a baby in the last episode. We have our magazines here on the kitchen table, so let's click on them and House, Gardens and Llamas is one hour. Chloe's finished reading House, Garden and Llamas magazine. Now we need to call real estate agent on phone. Those designs are looking great. Time to get building. Use a phone to call up the real estate agent and find out how to get into the big housing lots. Have we got a phone? Yes, we have. So click on there and call the real estate agent is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Whilst that is happening, I've just come out onto the town map because I'm going to start building another house for another sim. These, by the way, these are the larger lots that we're going to unlock by completing this quest. But we have these ones available to us. So let's go ahead and start building another one. And I think We've got quite a bit of money. We've got 26,500. So I might actually build the Japanese retreat. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build that. So let's start that. That's going to take one hour and cost 19,000 to build that. And then we can move in a sim. So I'll make sure that I go ahead and look at the suggestions from previous videos for who you want to add into the town. We finished on the phone. Now we need to watch Sim House Blitz on TV. Ugh, apparently the real estate agency's number is not connected. Hang on, Simtown doesn't even have a real estate agency. You're going to have to start one up. Start by doing some research. Watch Simhouse Blitz on a TV. So let's head over to the TV. And this is a one-star TV, so it takes a little bit longer. In fact, let's go over to another house, actually, and see if we've got a two-star. So I've brought Chloe over here, and this is a two-star telly. This is 13 hours. We finished watching Sim House Blitz on TV. Now we need to have a double shot of coffee. Have you ever noticed how quickly some of those real estate auctioneers speak? Wow. Your Sim is going to need a bit of an energy kick if they're going to learn how to do that. Start powering up with a double shot of coffee. So let's just click on this and double shot of coffee is one minute with a one star coffee machine. Chloe has had her double shot of coffee. Now we need to go over to the park. So okay, your sim is seriously buzzing after that coffee. They look ready to practice some auctioneering, but they'll need to find someone to practice on first. Maybe at the park? Head over there now. So let's go out onto the town map. And actually our new house that we're building is, is actually finished over here. So we will add a new sim soon let's just collect that revenue and then go over to the park and we will call 
Chloe over by going into the sim tracker. We'll call Tony over. Oh, no, we won't call Tony over. <laughs> That's task completed. Now we need to perform fake auction with ducks. Hmm, there aren't any other sims here to practice on. Well, maybe the ducks would be a good audience. After all, they've been helpful before. Perform a fake auction for the ducks in the park. You'll find them at the lake. So over at the little lake here, there are some ducks. If you click on them and perform a fake auction, is two minutes with the ducks. While she is doing that with all of my other sims, I am working hard with the cooking hobby because as you saw, we completed it once. And I will make myself like a little setup for the cooking hobby so that we can have like a few sims doing it and try and you know, go through the cooking hobby as much as we can. and. And yeah, just earn those LPs, because like five LPs each cooking hobby is quite a lot. So I've either they're either doing cooking hobby or they're growing stuff at the moment just to earn some more simoleons. Definitely just make sure this early on in the game, make sure that your sims are always doing something like the cooking hobby, growing plants at work. Make sure they're doing something so that you're always earning some more simoleons or some LP if you can. We've performed the fake auction with the ducks. Now wash hands in a sink. That was delicious. Now get back to work. You need to start building the real estate agency. Actually, first you should wash all that mess off your sim's hands. Okay, so we need to head home. Back at home, we need to click on a sink and washing hands is a nice quick little action for six seconds. Here we go. Yeah, now we need to build the real estate agency. Okay, your sim is all cleaned up, so now you can start building the real estate agency. Build it on the town map. So, out onto the town map. And once we are out here, the real estate agency is all the way over on the right hand side here. It is flashing, it's got like a black and white flashing icon above it. And for me, it's going to take 6 hours and 30 minutes, cost 500 simoleons, and I need one sim to do this. This may be different for you. I say this every time we build somewhere on the town map, but depending upon what places you have built on the town map, this could be a different price and a different time for you to build. So our Japanese house is ready for someone to move into, and I was just going to add a new sim, but then I was reading through the comments on previous videos, and someone has suggested that a good way to get money early on in the game is to build this Japanese house. I think this is what they mean, to build this Japanese house and then don't add a sim and sell everything in the house. So let's let's see, let's see if we can do it. So we've built this house and we don't wanna, how much did it cost us to build? Did it cost, was it something like 9,000 I think? Maybe it cost us about 9,000 to build. Instead of adding a new sim, we're gonna go and view house and they say just to sell everything here. So if you go into rooms, so what have we got? We've got 18,000 at the moment. Let's go ahead and sell everything in here. Are we getting our money back? Oh, seven. I mean, I don't think I want to sell. I want to keep this guy. I want to put him in. Hang on. I want to put him in our infantry and maybe the bonsai trees actually. I feel like I want to put the bonsai trees in the infantry. Is there anything else I want to keep? No, there's nothing else I want to keep. So let's go back and rooms. We're definitely getting more than we paid. 6,000. Okay, we're getting quite a lot here. So I think this is quite a good way to get money. So let's go and now we can sell all of this stuff wow yeah definitely i mean these we're not getting much for benches we're getting a hundred for wow five thousand so if we okay this is a really good tip thank you so much for the tip i hope this is going to help you guys out as well early on in the game just to get some money so build the japanese house it'll probably work for other houses as well but this one is the one that was suggested. This is the one that I've used it for. Wow, yeah, there's some major items. Like, let's be honest, even this early on in the game, even like 100 simoleons actually is uh, <laughs> is worth having. It's, it's Money is hard to come by. This is an excellent little tip. Thank you so much for leaving that comment. I really appreciate it. Probably I'm not going to bother with like, literally everything because 
what are these, 10 each. Okay, so that land, so I've cleared the land more or less, apart from those last few little things. And then what I'm going to do is go back out onto the town map and I'm going to demolish this house. Yes, that's fine. And then we can go ahead and... But okay, so it costs 19,000 to do. But definitely we got back more than 19,000 with that. So I'm going to build another one. I'm going to probably do that a few times, to be honest. So, yeah, so whilst we're waiting for the real estate agency to be done, there's three and a bit hours left on there. Let's build the Japanese retreat a few times. It probably would work on the Neo Tokyo as well, to be honest. But I think I'm just going to stick with the Japanese retreat for now. Excellent little tip. You do have to do this early on in the game though, so when, kind of as soon as the Japanese retreat is available to you and you can afford it, I would say that's when you want to do it because houses do get more expensive as you build more of them, so it wouldn't be worth it as you've got more houses. So yeah, definitely, as soon as you've got enough money for the Japanese retreat, build it, knock it down. The real estate agent is now finished, so we can go ahead and click that. I have been building a few of the Japanese house, and I've also tried the Neo Tokyo. I'll let you know. I've been doing some calculations as well. I'll let you know what is best for money in a second. But let's just continue with the quest. So we need to now get a job as a real estate agent. The real estate agency is up, but not yet running. It needs a sim to run the show. How a sim get a job as a real estate agent? So, I think all our sims are, yeah, they're all firefighters. Who should we have as a real estate agent? Polly? Lauren, would you like to be a real estate agent? I'm going to make Lauren, or Polly Cole, I should say. Oh, no, we don't want to send to work. We want to click on there, and we need to quit the job as at the fire station and make her a real estate agent. And there we go, that is task complete on that. And then I think we have, I think this may be the last thing we need to do. Have a sim dance to a stereo. Great. Only one thing left to do, celebrate. The gateway to the Ocean View estate is almost open. Have one of your sims dance to a stereo. We will just do that in a second. Before we do, let's go over to the house. And we were going to add a, another sim. This is the Japanese house. So we'll add... A new sim here. Before we do, I was working out that from the Japanese retreat. So when I built it, where it cost me, so it was my third house. So it cost me nineteen thousand to build, and I got just short of fifty thousand back after I sold everything. So I got about thirty thousand from selling that. The Neo Tokyo cost me twenty four and a half thousand and I only got back thirty six and a half thousand so only made about twelve thousand on that so definitely when you first start the game build those Japanese retreats sell everything in them and you'll make quite a bit of money but back to the sim that we are adding for today and we are gonna add a sim suggested by Melissa Delver so we're adding Melissa Delver. We're still short on male sim suggestions, so definitely keep popping them down below in the comments because the, if you are, if you add um, if you have a male suggestion, you're probably more likely to be in be featured in the game because not many people are suggesting males. So Melissa has asked for for it to be named after her, which there you go, Melissa it is, and black hair, light dark. Hang on, light dark skin, so kind of like, would you say, like that is kind of like light dark skin maybe? I think maybe that's what she means. And red lipstick, blue eyes. Okay, so what colour, black hair. So let's take a look. And so black hair, I really desperately, desperately want some more hairstyles. What should we go for? She wants black hair, but she didn't say any. I mean, there's not many options. I do quite like that bun. Have we got that one? Maybe we should use that one. Have we got that one? What have we not got? I mean, that's a crazy hairstyle. I don't want that. Let's, I mean, let's go with that. I'm going to go with that. And so head. 
The red lipstick? Is this the one that you mean, Melissa? That's the red lipstick one, right? I think so. I think that's what she means. And blue eyes? Blue eyes? Oh, she's pretty. I like her. And then she's no... Melissa's not given any sort of style. So if you want to let me know, Melissa, style, I can change this sim if you like. But I'm just going to address her uh, how I feel for now. And... Something that I don't normally use, I feel like I want to go with. Maybe this pink top. I quite like that pink top, actually. And then pants. Should we go with... Some, hang on, let me change those boots, because I don't like those boots. I'm really into those shoes at the moment. I really like them. Uh, what else have we got? Maybe some flip-flops. Kind of like little sandals, they're not really flip-flops, are they? What about some of those with, maybe those actually, or do we fancy some shorts? What about that? I quite like that as a look. Should we go with that? Let me know, Melissa, if you want me to change it, I can do. We'll add Melissa Delva to the town. Let's go, and in fact, I wonder if we have, we do have a stereo over here. We can do Melissa's first little action. She needs to dance, and I think we can just click on anything there. Dance to a stereo. Melissa's finished dancing to the stereo, and that is quest complete. You can see at the bottom, 100% completed. Congratulations, you've unlocked Ocean View Estate. You can find the new properties near the coast of Simtown. These housing lots have even more space for your sims to build their dream homes in. And congratulations for finishing the quest within the time limit. You've unlocked the beachside escape. It must be built on an empty lot near the Simtown coast. So we will take a look at those prizes and what we've unlocked in a second. The next quest that becomes available to us is the Mysterious Island, which, of course, unlocks the Mysterious Island, which I love going over there and building... It's just a new area. If you don't know, if you have never seen it before, we have got Simtown, which we have currently. And then you can go across this bridge and go over to Mysterious Island where there is just new loads of new places where you can build houses. There's also different areas. There's, well, you will unlock them as you go on through the game. But there's a castle, a beach, um, an, a pet park, a kind of like a fairground place. Loads of different places over there, which is pretty awesome that we will unlock as we go through the game. So on to what we have unlocked and our prizes from this quest. So we did unlock the premium residents, which are these ones up here. We get four over here, and then we also have another three over here, which are just larger places in which to build. And I say just, they're fantastic in my opinion, and... Yeah, there's so much more space than with the standard size lots. I really enjoy having them in the town. And we will, you will unlock that whether you complete the quest within the time limit or not. So that's nothing too much to worry about. We also unlock the real estate career. So as well as being a firefighter, your sims can now be a real estate agent. And then the prize for completing it within the two days was the beachside escape house, which can only be built on a... Premium lot. I was going to say you can only be built on a standard. It can't only be built on a standard. It can only be built on a premium lot. And you will see that your first one is free here. Let's just go ahead and take a little look at it. And this is what the house looks like. It's quite a nice house, as you can see. It's got like a little granny flat at the bottom. It looks really nice down over by the beach. But there are how many? Three bedrooms within it. There's quite a lot of stuff in this house and it is one of the nicest that we have this early on in the game in my opinion. There's lots of outdoor furniture and chairs and things for the sims to make use of the outdoor space and then there's this little granny flat down at the bottom. It's quite a nice house but I don't think it's a massive deal if you haven't, if you didn't do it within the time limit I wouldn't say. That is the prize. That is the end of this video. I hope it helped you out with the quest. And that little tip from Audrey Elizabeth about the Japanese retreat, that was fantastic. Thank you so much for commenting with that. Hopefully that can help a lot of people out early on in the game. 
it's something that I didn't know about before and I wish I had done it when I had less houses with this game to be honest but thank you so much Audrey for commenting that down below. Again I say it all the time if you've got any suggestions for Sims leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye! Yeah.